everybody and uh, welcome to Uberdaven, Texas. It's a uh, beautiful Wednesday morning, October 26th, a little bit after 10 o'clock and 70 degrees, nice and sunny today. Uh, we've got our uh, fake money and grocery list that we'll plant in the back seat and uh, see if anybody uh, takes it. Other than that, let's have a great day and get that first ride. Aaron, I uh, picked them up off of Petrenko, not too far from my house, and uh, it was a comfort ride, and uh, he was going to work at AT&T off of Petrenko uh, West, and uh, instead he wanted to stop off at Taco Bell get something to eat, and he did find the uh, money in the back, and turned it in, so good for him. All right, 1037. 68 degrees. We'll wait for another ride now. Well, that was uh, Rick and his son. Picked them up at their house, uh, Petranco West of uh, 211, and dropped them off at a middle school. Barnell, I think it was. Barnell Middle School. Don't know what that was all about for a late uh, meeting. Anyways, he did find the, uh, the grocery list and turned it back in. So it's uh, 11 18 right now, and, and it, it is, is 72 degrees. And I'm going back to the school to pick up Rick. He should have told me that he was uh, needing a ride home. Could have picked them up right away, but anywho, let's go pick Rick up. He dropped his son off at the school. Okay, that was Rick again. Uh, we found out that uh, his uh, son had a dentist appointment this morning, so that's why we were taking him into school late. And uh, he didn't know how to get a new Uber ride. So I showed him how to do that for next time. But the uh, ride that I just dropped him off over from the uh, school over to the GM dealership or GMC dealership on 1604, just north of Calabra. So we dropped him off so he could pick up his uh, wife's car that is uh, fixed now, hopefully. But yeah, I had a nice little conversation with him. All, uh, the area has grown up like crazy all around San Antonio. Okay, it's uh, 1140, 73 degrees, Uber Dave in Texas. Okay, that was Brandon. We uh, picked him up off of uh, Bandera Road and took him to uh, Medical Center just off of Fredericksburg Road and Medical Drive and we've got another uh, pickup coming here uh, about a half mile and it's uh, 10 minutes after 12 73 degrees Uber Dave in Texas well that was Pashpa that I picked up uh, at her apartment complex on Fredericksburg Road and took her across the street to USAA. And this is the first time I've been back inside USAA since the pandemic. 
uh, almost three years. Um, yeah, they've been closed down. Everybody's been working at home, and the uh, the company finally uh, called their employees back into work. Uh, this place employs about ten thousand people inside the uh, this massive uh, headquarters for USAA. But yeah, interesting. So everything's coming back to life. It's uh, twelve seventeen and seventy three degrees. Okay, that was Selena. Uh, we just picked her off of uh, I-10 and Ramsgate and dropped her off at an apartment complex off of uh, Hebner. And uh, that was a little short ride, but uh, we got her there. It's uh, 1230, 73 degrees. Slowly going through all the speed bumps here in the apartment complex. Hate them. Anyways, let's go get into the ride. Okay, that was a couple uh, Uber Eats deliveries. One was from a uh, Mexican restaurant on uh, Blanco. And they gave me a little uh, dessert to go. And the other one was from Babe's World Famous Burgers on Fredericksburg Road. And I delivered that uh, off of uh, Bandera Road. And I got another ping. It's uh, quarter after one, 76 degrees. Okay, that was Pierre. We picked him up at the McDonald's on Fredericksburg Road and Woodlawn and just dropped him off at his apartment complex on the other side of uh, 410 on San Pedro and Reedon. So let's, uh, let's take a cruise up uh, San Pedro once and see if we can get something up this way. It's uh, 135, 78 degrees in San Antonio, Texas. Okay, that was uh, Roger. We uh, picked him up on uh, 281 and Woodlawn and dropped him off at the Via truck, the Via bus depot near um, North Star Mall. And their money is still on the floor, so we're good to go there. It's a quarter to two and 78 degrees. Let's go get another ride, shall we? Okay, that was uh, Lorraine. We, uh, she only lived like a mile away from the airport and we just got done dropping her off at the Southwest Airlines uh, check-in area. She had a little issue with her uh, carry-on bag. The little stop at the bottom snapped off and I think the only way to fix that I told her was to get some super glue and glue that little uh, it's like a floor rest. It's not the wheel part. Anyway, she's on her way to New York City that's going to get there about 10 o'clock. That's a long flight. It's 2 o'clock now. All right, let's, uh, let's go get some gas and a potty break, hopefully, unless we get uh, flagged down again with another ride. It's uh, 204 and 78 degrees. Well, that was uh, big old Terrence. Boy, that guy's a big guy. He's uh, about 6'6", six, six, about 300 pounds. Truck driver, I picked him up at the Holiday Inn Express right by the airport and dropped him off by Big Ben Barbecue off Austin Highway in Lenmark. And he's gonna have himself some good barbecue before he needs to keep on driving. All right, let's uh, go down Austin Highway once to see if we can get something 
It's uh, 219 right now and uh, 80 degrees. It popped up two degrees here. Must be the barbecue place. But the charcoal is going. All right. Uber Dave in Texas. All right, that was Charles and his uh, two buddies uh, visiting from California. Picked them up at the Whataburger on uh, Broadway and took them back to the uh, hotel here by the airport, the uh, Marriott uh, Hotel. And uh, they said they really enjoyed their Whataburger, so... You got to uh, go by the headquarters of Whataburger in San Antonio, right on 281. And uh, we're going to make a slow ride out of here and start heading down to the airport. Well, we are at the airport, I mean, but we start heading home. I do need to find a restroom, though. So let me uh, turn around here, and I think there's a quick trip down the street. And we'll stop in there. I might gas up right away, too. I got a quarter tank. It's a uh, quarter to three. Almost time to get out of here. And it's uh, 80 degrees. Well, this... Uh, this is goofy. Okay, that was Ashley we uh, just dropped off. And I picked her up at the Target on uh, Fredericksburg Road and 410. And dropped her about a mile away in an apartment complex on Fredericksburg Road uh, to the northwest of the Target store. The, uh, I forgot to tell you, Charles found the money in the back or one of his buddies found it and he gave it to me and they were nice enough to turn it in so we'll set that back out in the back and maybe we'll get one more ride on the way home and see what happens it's uh, 308 80 degrees okay that was Maria we picked her up uh, from her work on Fredericksburg Road, same parking lot as uh, Babe's Hamburgers, where I had picked up a uh, Uber Eats order earlier, about uh, three hours earlier, and uh, took her to her second job. She work another. She works 16 hours a day. Anyways, uh, she's off to work. Now we're gonna fight the rush hour traffic. 322, 80 degrees. San Antonio, Texas. Well, that was John, but John was a no show at the Chick fil A on uh, Military Drive and 410. So he just got charged a $5 no show fee. So he's going to have to sell a couple more Chick-fil-A's to make it home. Anyways, I got another uh, ride coming up here. Uh, about another 10-minute ride to get to him. And uh, getting closer to home, so and closer to my daily quota that I'm looking for. It's a uh, quarter to four and 82 degrees. Warming up. Okay, we just dropped off Jackie. Uh, it's her day off and she's uh, gonna go visit some friends. So I gotta get down to uh, Petrenko and pick up my next ride. Big accident here, so I can't take the U turn. Big accident on uh, 1604 and 90. Hey, oh, that's 
why I hate rush hour traffic. People just don't know how to drive. It's backed up all the way over on the other side too. <sighs> was Guido. He was uh, such a sport to uh, wait after the big backup due to an accident and uh, just dropped him off at Smashing Crab so he could start his shift at five o'clock so he had plenty of time to uh, make it to work. So all right, so we're on uh, Alamo Parkway, uh, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the house. So we're gonna, the gas is probably 296 a gallon, so we'll fill up with gas here first and then make our way home. I've turned off the Uber X and the Uber Pet, and um, we're just strictly on Uber Comfort right now. So, let's uh, get a tank of gas going here, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hit home. It's uh, 10 minutes to 5. Yeah. Well, that was Kyla. Picked her up at the uh, Northwest Vista College and uh, took her home uh, to her house off of uh, 1604 Frontage Road, almost to the Trinkle. And she found the money, and we kind of talked about that a little bit. I like making little stories up about money. She says, I, I give them five days. If nobody claims it in five days, it's your tip. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. All right, we're uh, probably only about 10 minutes away from the house, so uh, it's probably our last ride. I've got uh, Uber, uh, Uber X and Uber Pet off right now. And it's just... Uh, the destination is on, and the uh, it's on Uber Comfort, so it is what it is, but I'm about 10 minutes from home. 522 at 81 degrees. Okay, folks, well, that's going to do it for a, uh, the heck is it, this is Wednesday, right? I think so. It's Wednesday, October 26th. Uh, had a good day. Uh, we met our daily uh, quota that we set for ourselves. 
Um, and uh, tips were kind of, uh, eh, I think about uh, 10, $10, which ain't much. Not as much as yesterday, it was $30. But anyways, uh, we made it back home. Uh, traffic was horrendous today. A lot of accidents on the freeway system. People just going too fast, running red lights, that type of stuff. But uh, we're back home. It's 530, 79 degrees. This is uh, Uber Dave in Texas. Adios, and we'll see you tomorrow.